What's good with y'all boys, man? What's going on? What's good with y'all boys, man? What's going on? How y'all doing? I'm doing good, man. Just got off work, dog. And yes, I mean, just got off work. It is 9.31 p.m. And the nigga is tired. Man, it's been a day. But we got the food. Food already done. I meal prepped. So the food done. You know, all I got to do is make sure I finish my last job. Do these little reactions I got. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't know, we are a smoke-friendly channel. Smoke advocates, cannabis lovers, cannabis everything. Even though it's empty, I am the first reaction channel. Smoking papers, don't let them lie to y'all. I know it, you know it, they know it. Which means we know it, okay? But, sadly today, I got off too late. And all the smoke shops I rock with is closed. They are closed. So, it is only one sheet of paper left in that bitch. And I'm not touching it. Because... I ain't have no choice, man. I needed, I wanted to eat, and I'm like, I got a reaction. So it ain't the best, but it's still a fucking guard. I grabbed a Garcia Vega, though. I got you know, I seen them. I, I had a Dutch in my hand until I seen them on the bottom. I'm like, hey, yo, can I swap that out? Let me get that Vega. And he was like, it's like 30 cent more. I'm like, fuck it. All right. <laughs> but here we go, y'all. This is the video, man. We do not smoke blunts, bro. This is not me. 99 cent. My life is worth more than that. Well, a Vega price is more than a dollar twenty nine. You know, my life is worth more than that, man. I do not smoke these. This is just my only option. I just got off, didn't have time to hit uh hit the stove before. Shit, they closed. So that's what I'm smoking for tonight. Tonight, just for tonight. Thank goodness the fact is that most perps can't shoot where the crap. Oh shit. Oh, second, second now. Yeah, baby. Not just play, but look, man. So it sounds like we got somebody that's trying to do something and he don't know what he's doing. Hi, friends. Welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I am your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from Melrose, Los Angeles, in California. LuckyGunner.com is my go-to resource for in-stock, fast-shipping ammunition. Whether you're looking for rifle ammo, handgun ammo, rimfire ammo, or shotgun ammo, go to LuckyGunner.com for the best place on the internet to find it all in stock and ready this to ship. Hurt. They have stood by us all in this ammo pandemic, <gasps> giving us great education via their YouTube channel and this their ballistic hurt. testing. Fuck, I did not mean to do that. This shit was hurting so bad, I forgot to skip. At good prices. Three dudes here drive in in a Volvo of all things. Two of them are going to jump out just looking for somebody to rob here in Melrose in LA, a nice they neighborhood. Do you gotta find the guy in front of this shop who's wearing a nice watch, try to grab it from him, and he runs off and they shoot at him six times. Six times they shot at this guy and he ended up missing every single time. Now they are then gonna run off back to their car. If you go look at the original from LAPD, they've arrested the driver and the shooter. In How the hell you get the drop? You already, as the criminal, you get to set the initiative and the point of attack and all of that. How the hell you get the drop? And that's why I don't like blunts, bro, because they constantly make me feel like something is on my fucking mouth, bro. I hate blunts, bro. Hate these motherfuckers. But, uh, nigga... I only got two grams left, and I know I wasn't finna try and roll no wood out of that bitch. Not even a little one gram wood. I don't even like doing that to myself. I love woods. But damn, hold up, y'all. How the hell they get the drop and you brick? This neighborhood, they're gonna find the guy in front of this shop who's wearing a nice watch, try to grab it from him, and he runs off and they shoot at him six times. Six times they shot at this guy, and they ended up missing every single time. Now, they are then gonna run off back to... To the dude... Why the hell are you standing outside in the middle of the alley with a nice watch on? With nothing on you. I'm assuming you had nothing on you, because if you did and you seen two niggas walking up, they just randomly pulled up, stopped, and they both hopped out hoodie on. You telling me you not clutching or nothing? You know, at the end of the day, bro, that's LA. Niggas be on, you know, niggas already know what be going on out there. So you should already be on tip. But you know, that's what got me thinking. Like, bro, why he so why he feel so safe where he at? Why he feel so safe to walk around with no pole? Why he feel so safe to walk around where he at with no pole with that damn watch on? Like, you, 
<sighs> their car. If you go look at the original from LAPD, they've arrested the driver and the shooter in this case. The shooter was sentenced to 30 years. They are still looking for the accomplice. So if you know anything. Yes, sir. He was sentenced to 30 years. Oh my goodness, he didn't hit shit though. Don't matter. It don't matter. And the other nigga, it don't matter. In the other one, in the uh, in the other clip, dude actually grazed girl. And he got hit with aggravated assault. All he did was grazed her. Why he get hit with 30 years and he, what you call it? Because this nigga, his intentions. He meant to do that. They set the place. They pulled up. They stopped. They got out and walked. They scoped for a target. They found the target. They approached the target. They attacked him. And when he fled, you were shooting to kill that man. You wasn't shooting to injure him. You wasn't shooting in the air to scare him. You was aiming every shot at him. You just can't fucking shoot. You was pulling the trigger too hard, and, you know, you had that bitch straight on him. But by the time you pulled the trigger, pow, you didn't shot that bitch left. Pow, left again. Pow, right. And then you ain't letting it reset, so you know niggas. So now you, pow, 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 pow. that bitch going everywhere but at him. It's like, bro, they about to hit you with that because your intentions, you showing you was trying to pop him. You ain't shoot once. You ain't shoot twice. Maybe third time's a charm. Nigga, you doubled it. You shot another three times. Like, nah, bro, you meant to do that. You needed another set of three strikes. Like, bro, you really, you, let me get a second chance. And got a whole nother set of strikes and strike the fuck out again. Like, nah, bro, you meant to kill him. You just was missing. Yeah. Missing every. Look at this, bro. Y'all be around. Oh. That's why I'm like blunts, bro. Damn. <laughs> Three dudes here drive, drive in in a Volvo of all things. Two of them are going to jump out. Just looking for somebody to rob here in Melrose in L.A. And it don't matter where you at, y'all. Y'all pay attention to that, bro. If you're standing or sitting in the car somewhere or whatever and somebody pull up next to you or a little bit ways down from you and everybody in the car hops out, and leave the car on, you can tell the car is on because the brake light is shining. The brake light is flaring all day right here. It's in park. The brake light is on. So the car is on. And then not on and then to add on top of that, the driver was the first one to exit. Bro, the passengers wasn't the first one to exit. The driver was. Man, watch your surroundings, G. If you feel it, if you suspect if you suspect it, address it. Become an advocate for packing it. Okay? And then if you suspect it, bro, address it. You ain't necessarily gotta say something like, hey, what y'all on? But, bro, don't ignore the presence. Don't ignore the fact that they just pulled up in a black Volvo with 5% tent. You can't see shit. And the car didn't even come to a complete stop before the driver door was already open. They both hopped out, mask and hoodie on, with the car still in park. It's running. Bro, watch your surroundings. If you suspect it, <laughs> if you suspect it, <laughs> address it. Damn. <laughs> nice neighborhood they're gonna find the guy in front of this shop who's wearing a nice watch try to grab it from him and he runs off and they shoot at him six times six times they shot at this guy and he ended up missing every single time now they are then gonna run off back to their car if you go look at the original from lapd they've arrested the driver and the shooter in this case the shooter was sentenced to 30 years they are still looking for the accomplice, so if you know anything about that. Because for one, he probably was underage. For two, he probably was already convicted. For three, he wasn't supposed to have a pole. You in Cali, you know what I'm saying? Then for four, he was concealing that bitch because he drew it. So it was concealed at one point. Boom, now you're using it in a, you using it in an armed robbery too, and you're shooting at somebody now that's fleeing? Okay, bro, they act, bro. All right. They just letting that shit stack and stack. Contact LAPD. Hey, friends, check it out. Fresh merch. We That's cute. Guys travel, and they can either steal cars or use their buddy's car. I think this guy was dumb enough to use a car that, that was his, and that's why they caught him. Next thing here, again, our dude, if you go look. Do y'all see his outfit? My man is out here. Hoodie. Two, oh, make sure it's no sweat. Car. I think okay. this guy was dumb enough to use a car that, that was his, and that's why they caught him. Next thing here, again, our dude, if you go look at the, the original from LAPD, it says that our victim here. Hey, off rip, when you see people walking by, bro, it's a certain space that, 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 that's supposed to be maintained. 
when you just standing and somebody's walking by. You know what I'm saying? If I'm standing right here, you don't need to be right here to fucking walk by me. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I'm against the window, you got all this concrete, all this damn sidewalk and street. Why are you so close to me? Y'all pay attention. You got to watch that, bro. Niggas coming into your square, walking at an angle, unless they ain't D-lining for the fucking stone. Bro, watch your, watch your surroundings. Like, don't be... Ooh, bro, this nigga was tweaking. My fault. I thought I hit play. Saw these guys eyeballing him from the alley. Saw the fact that they were paying attention to him. Knew that something was wrong. And then kind of was like, well, what am I going to do about that? I don't know. Listen, when your creep alarm goes off, to do something to make yourself safer. Because otherwise, you let the... When you suspect it, bro, address it. Because nine out of ten, you not lying, bro. Your stomach not lying to your body. Your sense is not lying. Get gone, boy. Danger coming. Do Pay attention buys you time. Time buys you options, but if you waste that time, don't do anything with it, it won't help you. So use your creep alarm. So this guy doesn't do anything until they're on top of him trying to steal his watch. Then at least here he starts running, but I do want to recognize multiple attackers with a dude with a firearm. That yeah, is you know, a, obviously an, a magnitude of order of difficulty higher than a single attacker. Second thing here is they are willing to kill you for your stuff, just for your watch and your phone. This guy is willing to use deadly force to get that. And so, you know, if somebody points a gun at you, you better believe the fact that they are willing to use it. They may not be, but I would always trust that they are willing to use it and act accordingly. Now, this guy, he decides to run off and get out of the danger zone. And this dude shot at him six times and missed every single one. Well, so, hey, they, they flaming him back in the, uh, back home, bro. Like, back home, wherever he from, they on his ass, bro. They like, we ain't never going with dude. The dude that he with, I ain't never taking this motherfucker on another lick with me again. In the hood, they on his ass. Yo, ass is on camera. You got the motherfucker two yards in front of you. And you shot six times and missed. Bro, they on his ass in the hood. Well, in jail, I should say. They like, dog. You, you never thought about playing sports or going to school or anything? Like, bro, you missed six times? Like, nigga, that worked out in your favor. You got 30 years for bricking. Damn. That's tough. That's the worst part. You got 30 years for missing. That's the, that's the worst part. That shit crazy. And he can hear them bitches just whistling through him, y'all. You see he clinching, like, how he clinching up. That. I don't think that hope is a strategy. I do. Damn, man, you making a... And he, that's my baby he got. Uh, he got my baby. Man, he got, that's that Taurus G3C, man. He got my baby, bro. Not only are you doing evil with it, you bricking. You think getting out of the danger zone, and if you can get more than about 10 feet from most bad guys, they pretty much can't hit the broadside of a barn with a gun for the most part. Now, you may get you know, the gang of ninja who actually can shoot, but that's pretty darn rare. So any kind of distance is good. Well, damn, John, what you was trying to say? The gang of who? Like, damn. But all right, y'all, that's it for the video, man. If y'all fuck with the video, the reaction, make sure you turn on the notification bell after you subscribe and like the video. That way when I post go live, you be the first to know, man. Sorry about all the, uh, the delay or not so much the delay, it's just, you know, them bitches ain't been coming like they was. I picked up more hours and stuff, you know. Life hit, I'm trying to get out of my, you know, I'm not the one to procrastinate or dwell, bro. I be trying to get out of my situations as quick as they, just as quick as they come. I try to make them motherfuckers flip and turn that, that rain back into sunshine. So, you know, I just been tired working hella hours and shit, bro. Trying to get my situation changed again, like get it back to what it was at, but trust me though, we're gonna always find time to do this shit because this is man, this stuff is fun. Like I be watching this, bro. Y'all watch y'all backs, man. Like I this I get off work and I be looking forward to this at work, like going home, talking to the talking to the talking to Nemo, the the Nemo react niggas that like watching it, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But y'all watch y'all backs, man. Cause you I told y'all it's desperate times, man. People hungry and they after it by any means necessary. So Get you something to protect your family or yourself.